Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This is your boy Joe. For those of you that are new to the channel, you can call me Saint You. And what do I do with this channel? Well, I live in Kazakhstan and I just make videos and posts about my life here. And this video is more um, catered to the tourists that will be actually visiting. And the reason I'm making this video is because I wish somebody had had something like this posted on YouTube so I could just kind of uh, dive in and just be ready to go. So. This video is for my tourists that are planning on visiting Kazakhstan and I have for you a few things that you will need to make this a smooth transition. All right, without further ado, let's get started. <sighs> All right guys, so I just, uh, just found somewhere to sit down real quick and make this video. So the things that you are actually going to need as a tourist are a few things. So one, first thing is information. Second, more information. <laughs> so. Uh, now, one of the things that you're really going to need um, or to download a few apps, right? So the first app that I have in mind for you is actually called Yandex Taxi. Now, the reason that you're going to need this app is because if you do plan to actually take the taxi here from one place to another, Yandex Taxi is the best way to go because it's actually the Uber of Kazakhstan. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows how to use it here. So it's fairly, you know, simple. And Yandex actually has a lot of other features packed into it. But just the taxi side is the one that I'm recommending to you right now. As you actually use the app, maybe you'll get more comfortable with using other functions that are within the app. But as for now, just use it as a car sharing app. And the next thing that you are actually going to need, the second app that I have on the list for you is called Tugis. Now, Tugis is a, is a very interesting app. It's like what Google Map is to former Soviet Union countries. It's, 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 it's a very easy app to use, very um, intuitive. Uh, and the, why I like it personally is that it's frequently updated. So let's say, for example, you were to plan out a route, right? Let's say you wanted to go to, I don't know, Bishkek, right? You wanted to visit a neighboring country. So as soon as you make it, you know, as soon as you put all the information in the, um, on the app, now what you can see is other people that are actually taking the same trip, that are in the same route, if there are any accidents within that route, what they'll do is they'll take pictures and post it within the app, which makes things so much easier as far as planning out your day, because then you could know which routes or which roads to avoid and which one have more red lights, such and such, yada, yada, yada. So Tugis is definitely an app that you want to add to your list. Next on that one, and that one has actually saved my butt plenty, plenty of times. It's Google Translate, believe it or not, right? So now, what do I like about Google Translate? Back when I used to use it, there was a feature on there that they did not yet have. It's a feature of actually looking through your camera and getting real time translation or whatever it is that you're having the camera look at. So, um, and I've had some friends actually in, in Korea who are Muslims and they've had to look at the packaging to see if, if it is halal, if they actually can eat it. And that app has come out, come in handy so many times. So what you find is this, being able to translate something that is not in the Latin alphabet that you can't type yourself or you don't have a keyboard for, so you just bypass that by just using your camera. So Google Translate will definitely help you with street signs, with menus, and whatever else that may be in uh, Cyrillic that you may wanna actually translate into your native tongue. And now, the next thing that I have on that list for you guys is to, and I can't stress this enough, get as much information about the city, about the people, and about things that are here because one of the things that you'll come across is that people here don't really refer to themselves as Kazakh even if they were born here they refer to themselves as what they are ethnically so for example if a Russian person who grew up and was born in Kazakhstan who has a Kazakh passport who is a Kazakh national they will not refer to themselves as Kazakhs they will refer to themselves as Russians so be mindful of actually you know someone saying no I'm not Kazakh I'm Russian it's not that they're not recognizing themselves as a Kazakh national. They're just saying that they are ethnically whatever country that they're from. So you'll find different ones here like Tatar, uh, um, Turkish, um, uh, what else? Uh, Koreans, you'll find Russians. So there are many different backgrounds here and people tend to go by that background. And believe it or not, it's added to their passport. So that's quite interesting. So if someone says to you, no, I'm this, I'm that. Do not argue with them. It's just what they are ethnically. That's what they're saying. So that's another uh, piece of information that I think will come in very handy as far as conversation is concerned. And the next one that I have on the list is that Kazakh people are very friendly and very open-minded people. So you might find someone just cracking a smile. You know, you might see a pretty girl cracking a smile. That doesn't mean she wants to sleep with you, I'm just saying. So, I mean, this goes for both sexes. You know, ladies, if a man here is just, you know, being polite, maybe he's saying welcome. 
Um, but I know this to be true and for, for it to be certain. Just because a young lady is looking at you and she's, she's happy to see you and she's smiling and she's very courteous or polite, that doesn't mean she wants you to get in her pants. So just be mindful of the fact that people here are just welcoming in that sense where if you're a foreigner, they want you to feel welcome within their country. So they will make you feel as welcome as they possibly can. So do not mistake their you know kind gestures or politeness as flirting. It's not. So fellas, keep it in your pants. All right. So um, I think we've pretty much reached the end of uh, this video. These are the things that I think that you guys will actually find very beneficial. Ah, and one more app. Um, it's called Glovo. Now, Glovo is a very interesting app and a very helpful app, in, in fact. Let's say, for example, you know, um, a tourist being out, you know, all day and you forgot to pick up something to eat. Now you're home and you're worried that everything is closed or you're not really familiar with the streets or the roads. So what you could do is download the app called Glovo, right? And Glovo will help you out with all of that. So what you could do is order your food through Glovo, put in your address and have it delivered to your home. Now, uh, Glovo is a very, very useful app to have. So make sure you add that one to your arsenal of apps. And uh, that way you can order yourself some food if you were to ever be stranded at home. All right, with that said, thank you again for watching another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.